my name is Dan Crowley and I'm here to talk about TBCs in Tarma George. I'm a milk quality advisor based in Clannacilty. For the control of Tarma um, clean approach is very important. As you can see here, collection yard here, maintained very clean, very good. Means that we're going to have clean cows for milking procedure. Fundamentally, the Tarma are coming in on the teeth of the cows. So we need good preparation of the cows coming up to milking. That means pre-spraying, dry wiping, any dirty cow that's there. But fundamentally, clean approach, clean, clean collecting yard is a big factor in mitigating against thermogenics. To measure the capacity of the track, we measure, need to measure the width, which is 0.4, by the depth, which is 0.5, by the length, which is 0.6. We multiply 0.4 by 0.5 by 0.6, we'll give a 0.12 of a cubic metre. So there's a thousand litres in a cubic metre, so 0.12 by a thousand is 120 litres is inside in that track. If we divide that by 14 litres, means this track is big enough to rinse an 8 unit parlour. If we divide it by 9 litres, 9 into 120 litres means this track is big enough to wash a 13 unit parlour. But as you can see in most parlours, both tracks are equal size. So this track is only suitable for an 8 unit parlour. It is not suitable for a 13 unit because the capacity isn't there to rinse the plant. For after milking and after the chemical wash to get all the chemical out of the plant. And that's a significant issue at farm level. When doing a hot wash, the temperature of the hot wash is crucially important. When you're doing a hot wash, the water needs to be 75 to 80 degrees with a dump temperature of 45 to 50 degrees. That means when I run the wash solution through the milking parlour and return it, after eight to 10 minutes, it needs to be no lower than 45 to 50 degrees in dumping. So a critical point is my starting temperature about 75 to 80 degrees. On a D scale, 45 to 50. Warm is plenty, not hot. And there's bulk tanks, a significant issue from the point of view of TBCs and thermogenics. So there's a couple of issues just to watch for. In an automatic tank like this, you have a detergent cycle and you have a D scale cycle. They're usually at a ratio of 3 to 1 if you're using a chlorine caustic based product. 3 times detergent, 1 time D scale. If you're going chlorine free, you need to change this to a 1 to 1 ratio. This collection caustic, this collection D scale, and you flip over and back. The other option is you put this on a caustic, and the second one then is taking up a paracetic acid solution. Third option, is you can get a one for all product where the two pipes are taking up to one product. For all these cycles, they need to be calibrated and set by your tank technician. To make sure that your tank is taking up the appropriate amount of detergent, very important that every once every two to three months, get a graduated cylinder, measure in your solution, and stick the pipes into the solution and see is it taking up the required amount. This can vary hugely depending on the product that you use because the viscosity changes in the product. Next thing is when you're washing your tank, tanks should be washed in a temperature no greater than 70 degrees as this can impact on the gas inside the tank and cause your tank to split. So about 70 degrees is the maximum you should wash in the tank. The cooling temperature as dictated here should be 3.3 degrees to 3 degrees. That's the optimum temperature for cooling. Other things to watch is the bridge of the tank where the outlet is that clean Look into the top of the tank, make sure there's no shaded areas inside in the tank, make sure the spray valves inside in the tank itself are giving a constant even spray. And even spray. And they are the things really to watch for in the tank. Get them serviced once a year in your annual service and keep monitoring your tank.